lets the clock run out. And Detroit Mercy picks up its first win since last February. Arena as the UIC Flames look to sweep the Oakland Golden Grizzlies this weekend in Chicago. Welcome to Credit Union One Arena and welcome to the Flames Tip-Off Show sponsored by Impact Networking. I'm Joe Brand as the UIC Flames took down Oakland for the first time ever here in Chicago last night. It was a bit of a contrasting win however as Luke Yaklic is known for his defensive mind but the UIC Flames not playing up to his standards defensively. It was the offense pulling out the victory yesterday, led by 25 points from Jamie Ahale, eight three-pointers the Aussie was able to nail down yesterday as the Flames took the first game from Oakland. But yeah, the Golden Grizzlies winning the rebounding battle by a total of 48 to 37 yesterday. So at coach Luke Yaklic definitely wants improvement on that end of the floor. And even though every week we get the X's and O's from Luke Yaklich about his team and the UIC Flames, we're actually going to dive into some Christmas memories from the UIC head coach. It's the final game before the Christmas holiday, so we talked to Coach Yaklich about the holiday season, his past years celebrating in the basketball state of mind, and also finally being closer to home nowadays, being the head coach of the UIC Flames. Here's our coach's connection. Welcome back Senior to the Flames Tip-Off Show, Hale, sponsored by Impact Networking. I'm Joe Brand. He's Luke Yaklich, the head coach of the UIC Flames, and this is Coach's Connection, where we get a chance to sit down with the head coach and learn a little, and learn a little bit more about the UIC basketball team. All right, Coach, so I know recently the Flames gave you a somewhat trophy basketball for your first head coaching win. Now, I know it's coach speak to say, oh, it's it's one win. We We want a lot of wins, but Let's face it, is there a moment where you get to reflect on that new milestone of yours? And Because it's something you've been working towards pretty much your whole basketball career. Uh, yeah, I, I think that, um, you, you know, in the, in the moment, you just, it, it was, you celebrated and then everybody, you know, got a bunch of text messages after that game, obviously, and uh, a congratulatory in nature. And um, I, I think the, the moment that we, that uh, Kyle Drennan, our uh, director of operations, uh, you organized had my mom and dad here uh, the other day um, at our practice facility as a surprise with my wife and uh, my kids. Um, it, it was it was special, and uh, the the thing that's special about it, Joe, is that the that it's fun because my family's been a part of this whole journey. Um, you know, my mom and dad used to come to Illinois State games when I was a manager, and then they came to every every game that they possibly could as when I was a high school coach and then as an AAU coach watching me coach Griffin and then to see the journey again from Illinois State to Texas Michigan going the final four and then my wife keeping a scorebook uh, when I was a high school coach and uh, my kids running the uh, the smoke machine um, the high the uh, the spotlight and then keeping water like it, it's it's literally been a, a family affair for us and uh, from the get-go and to kind of embrace the journey together. I, I'm just blessed to have a great family that really has supported uh, my career. And uh, that moment uh, to be with our players and our team is, it, it, it was special. And I mean, this year especially has to be even more significant for you because you get to be closer with your family physically and geographically. Yeah. I, I know we're all limited these days, but you know, what's this holiday season going to be like so close to your family? Yeah, I, I'm glad it's, you know, it's just, it's different despite uh, the fact that you're close just because of COVID and, and all the precautions that you, that, you know, we're taking to make sure everything remains going forward. But um, just to be able to spend time with my grandson, Joe, um, and have my daughter bring him up uh, from Bloomington. And um, he was on the Zoom call the other day when they gave me the game ball from the Northern uh, Illinois victory. So it, it was, that was even, that was just really, really neat. And um, it, so that part of it, and then my mom and dad, um, being able to be um, just drive an hour and 20, 25 minutes uh, to their house, um, it, that that's been incredible, and it's really good, really good for um, for my wife uh, as well, and then all of the uh, friends that uh, our kids have close to here. It's 
it's been a, a literally, uh, Joe, a dream come true in a lot of ways. It's uh, I'm blessed and lucky and fortunate. Um, I love love UIC and everything that uh, we have building here and, and what's what I think is going to happen in the future. And but it's it's Illinois. It's basketball in Illinois, and uh, it's what I love. I have a passion for it, and it's what I grew up um, kind of really understanding what basketball meant in this state. All right, one more. I want to go to. Little Luke Yaklich as a kid running down the steps, looking under the tree. Give me oh. one significant Christmas present that you got. If it's basketball focused, great. If not, even better. One that sticks in your mind when you were a kid. Well, I, I, I do remember. Um, I get my the first uh, like tape player, like a a, a uh, where you could put that, and and that was like. That was the thing, and then imagine, imagine me, Joe, on a skateboard. I, I I watch Back to the Future, so Michael J. Fox, like Marty McFly, was the guy. So I had I had this crazy thing of that. You know what? I think I'll have a skateboard out on the farm, and uh, that that fad lasted about two weeks. But I was really excited for that, and the uh, the stereo system was uh, was key. And then the the Walkman, that was uh, that was a big one. And then the other one would have been the. Um, Gosh, what was it called? Oh, the Tech Mobile. What, what was that? Nintendo. Nintendo. The video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that. That was it. So a lot of good memories. Uh, but th those were those were probably the four things of many that I that I uh, that stick out right now. All right. Well, you can catch L Luke Yaklich and maybe his idol of Marty McFly in today's game <laughs> against Oakland. Coach, thanks so much for the time. Uh, happy holidays right. to you and yours. Oh, always. And to, uh, yeah, to everybody out there and all Hoops fans, be, uh, be safe, be healthy, and uh, go Flames. Bring the heat. All right. Be sure to stick around. We've got more coming up on the Flames Tip-Off Show. If you're looking to lower your mortgage payment or buy a home, Credit Union One is offering historically low rates on refinance and new home purchases. Right now, you can get pre-approved in one day on a fixed-rate mortgage. Rates have never been this low, so now is the time. Don't wait. Conventional and jumbo rates are available. Call or apply online today and be sure to ask about our $400 credit on closing costs. Credit Union One. Better banking for all of us. It's always out there. The horizon. A reminder that our greatest goals are rarely attained. And as soon as you reach one, another emerges. But every day we rise and work harder, dig deeper, ask one more question, take one more shot in relentless pursuit of our horizon. The senior Jamie Ahale, obviously yesterday's offensive star again, 25 points. That was a career high. His previous high for points in a Horizon League game was 15. He was a lot of fun to talk with after the game as well. Jamie Ahale, one of the seniors on this UIC squad. In this next segment, we actually talk to a few of the veterans and reflect on their UIC background, what they've learned and what they've loved here on the UIC campus. Sponsored by UI Health, let's hear from those seniors. UIC's win yesterday over Oakland improved. Um, it's a lot of emotion. I'm just happy to be here. You know, uh, it's my last season, so I just want to give everything I got and uh, uh, just help the team win this year. Uh, shooting, playmaking, ball handling, just every, uh, everything all around game. Just trying to be a complete player. Just trying to be locked in, uh, bringing energy every day. Um, just locking in on the scouts and all that. Uh, I mean, since I've been out, like, I've just been, like, observing everything. Like, um, I just noticed, like, the little things. Like, everything, every little thing matters. Like, setting the screen, hitting somebody on the screen, rolling fast out the pick, uh, transition, running hard. It's just everything matters. So, i just been learning. I mean, I feel like uh, all the time like, I've been taking off, like, all my hard work is going to pay off. Uh, this team we got this year, I really like it. And I like our chemistry, and I feel like everybody um, – we click and bind to the system. For starters, like people who play like 40 minutes or 38 minutes, like we have to take care of our bodies. I feel like the the biggest like obstacle would be like uh, recovery. So like uh, we have to uh, see Jenny, our trainer, and just make sure our body is okay. The process has been smooth. Um, we've just been trying to just fix, not fix, just tweak a, a little bit of our defensive things, offensive techniques, and you know our teammates. It's been a smooth, everybody likes each other and we're just feeling the brotherhood and trying to just 
complete our one goal. Coach Jack, he, he, you know, he believes in me that I can come off a lot more ball screens, make more reads, um, play more outside, and you know, play more, um, more, more matchups, you know, mismatches and stuff. What's the mindset for you thinking that this is your final go around? Just taking advantage of every opportunity, every practice, every rep, like it's my last, because it is my last go around. It's hard to describe, honestly. You have to be here. The culture he's bringing and this, the passion that he coaches with is just something I've never seen, and it's just infectious to everyone. UI Health takes pride in serving Chicago. We're in your neighborhoods, providing care closer to home because we're committed to keeping our communities healthy. And that commitment starts with a healthier you. It's more than a prescription or a procedure. It's a healthcare team taking the time to listen. As partners in your health, Understanding your needs is the first step in providing the personalized care you deserve. UI Health, changing medicine for good. UIC's win yesterday over Oakland improves them to 4-2 and two overall. The Golden Grizzlies dropping to 0-8. I'm Joe Brand. This is the Flames tip-off show sponsored by Impact Networking. Let's take a look at the UIC standings which they've actually moved up into third place after yesterday's win. Oakland obviously still towards the bottom, but the Flames right behind Milwaukee, who will be their next opponent next weekend. And by the way, these standings are brought to you by Marriott Medical District. But as you see, the Flames now in third place behind only Wright State and the Panthers. And again, they're going to head up to Milwaukee next week for their next opponent. The upcoming games for UIC after Milwaukee, they head back home taking on the Detroit Mercy Titans. Those will be the first games of 2021, a year we're pretty much all anticipating, and it's right around the corner, thankfully. And some other games going on today. Already four games in action, three of them already final, as Wright State maintains their first place lead with the win over Detroit Mercy. Milwaukee, another victory. They take down Green Bay. Robert Morris falls to Marshall out of conference, 85-71, and at halftime, a uh, slim lead for Northern Kentucky. Later on, we'll see Cleveland State and Purdue-Fort Wayne. We keep talking about yesterday's offensive efforts, and again, it starts with Jamie Hale. 25 points, but eight three-pointers. He was helped out a lot as well by Raekwondis Mitchell and Tavion Kirk. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from yesterday's game. As Jamie Hale's eight three-pointers, he was just one shy of a program record. That would have had we talk history. about diligence and grit. It's one of our core values. Points. And uh, up a season high you know, tonight, uh, our guys, we just had, we were choppy all night. Um, we couldn't get any flow. And a lot of that is a credit to, to Oakland's Picking defense. Right we we gridded one out. Uh, it was really, really, um, it, 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 it's just a, a good program win. We were able to get more pink touches in the second half and play a little bit more aggressively. And um, once we were able to do that and kind of get them playing back on their heels, that kind of sparked the, uh, that, that run there to get us back in the game. And, and obviously, Jamie, uh, Jamie was unbelievable tonight. Win like that, a close one like that shows the resiliency we built through non-conference, and it's just going to make us better as we progress through the season. Just taking care of your body, making sure you, you're feeling good to go, ready for tomorrow. Any niggles, any sore spots, getting them taken care of, and then tweaking the game plan a little bit. Um, but there's not too much changing. You're playing the same team, so just perfecting what we're already doing. That's one. Still no points in this second half. And a great find down low to Skank. The one-handed pass from Deja Smith. Up the floor. Here's McCormick. Loses it. Yana Skank off to the races and up for the tie. Now Nedji will get fouled and that one will fall. Offensively. How about this? The Flames will finish this game on at least a 7-0 run. Make it a 10-0 run on that three-pointer by Tiana. UI Health takes pride in serving Chicago. We're in your neighborhoods, providing care closer to home because we're committed to keeping our communities healthy. 
And that commitment starts with a healthier you. It's more than a prescription or a procedure. It's a healthcare team taking the time to listen. As partners in your health, understanding your needs is the first step in providing the personalized care you deserve. UI Health, changing medicine for good. It's always out there. The horizon. A reminder that our greatest goals are rarely attained. And as soon as you reach one, another emerges. But every day we rise and work harder, dig deeper, ask one more question, take one more shot in relentless pursuit of our horizon. Sponsored by Impact Networking. A lot of emotions. I'm just happy to be here. You know, uh, it's my last season, so I just want to give everything I got and uh, uh, just help the team win this year. Uh, shooting, playmaking, ball handling, 